Good morning. How is everyone today? We had a few days of rain, so everything's looking pretty perky. I've done pretty good at keeping ahead of the weeds. And uh, some of these little baby flowers that I put in, those, those like specials, like they got blown or dried up or something. You pick up like a six pack for a buck or something. But a lot of these were just seeds that I had or um, little starts and stuff. But one of them was a pack. It was, I think it was these, these little violets. I think it was the blue and purple violets. The other ones I already had, but I think it was the, not blue and purple, it was um, these purple and yellow. Yellow. I didn't have any yellow ones before. All I had was yellow marigolds. Those were seeds I had. The um, petunias, um, those were from a pot that I had in the house and also the geraniums over here. Oh, we're going to start blooming again. But it's a dark, dark red. Actually, that's one that my sister-in-law had given my mother many, 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 many years ago. And it's a dark, 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 dark red. really like it. And so, my crazy pot. It's starting to look pretty cool. After deadhead it. Oh, okay. Here they come to finish. They're out doing my... What do you call it? They did my sidewalk. I had so many accidents. And I, this morning I noticed they were out. Let me show you this. <clears throat> I had four accidents that I know of. And that doesn't count the one where they smacked my mailbox. But what a beautiful job they did. There was concrete. There was everything. And the guys came by with leaf blowers and brooms and cleaned up my sidewalk. So it just, I didn't know if somebody called <laughs> because there was so much junk out there. I was going to do that this week because it's supposed to be like 90 degrees this weekend. But um, I guess it just coincided. I lucked out because a car really got whacked. Bottom of my driveway, as you can see, there's a, well that's about half of it. They dumped like a five gallon bucket of kitty litter. There was just junk all over the place. So anyway, back to my tale of the day. Um, this here is the Baptisia and it's finally blooming. Um, this was an anniversary present to my parents from my aunt in Maine and it's doing great. My mother liked it up there and um, she had commented on it. I guess up there, it, it, after it blooms, it makes a pod and the seeds rustle in the wind and my, my mom really liked that. And down here, we don't get pods. <laughs> it becomes bird food. I've only seen one pod on it. It's just um, the birds eat them. The birds eat them here, I don't know. I have bird feeders and everything and they just eat everything, which is why I have to cover the blueberry bushes, I have to do everything. So, um, some self, um, they gave up their life for a plant. So, those are the black oil sunflower seeds that bloomed, well, they germinated. We'll see if they um, actually make a flower. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't, so, but most of the time they do, and this here, I did, been working on the, the, um, the lily garden, trying to get that back, but, um, it's not too bad, I need to get the leaves out of there, but that's okay, and, um, some trimming in here, but the peonies are up, and, iris these are the big lilies here there's like lilies all along this back edge and along that fence there'll be the day lilies coming up in there my little potato pack in here has got potatoes in it and um some of these are doing good this iris here 
is um, called Beverly Sills, and my dad got that for my mom for their 25th wedding anniversary. It's been split many times, and we've given pieces to people, but this right here is the original, the original corm, and when babies come out, that's when I move them. So there's some in other places in the yard, but that's the original one. And um, the store is doing its job. So I'm not really far behind. I was going to trim that stuff under that. Um, oh, I have no mind for words today. The <laughs> Not primrose. I don't know what it is, but that tree. <laughs> oh, what a dork. Anyway, but um, coming along, I did plant for my riser here. These are cantaloupes. We're going to see how they do. I did grow cantaloupes a couple of years ago. They were awesome. And they were under, um, in between stuff. And they didn't get attacked by anything. So, but the flowers look really, really nice. We'll go back here. I'm going to feed the babies. You can see that. Oh, that Baptisia. If you have it or you know someone, it does actually make a good cut flower. Along with one that I people don't normally use is um, Wisteria. Because my mom couldn't get out of bed many, many, many times. I would just make giant absolutely giant um, flower arrangements for her. This is electric, but they can go right through. So. I make big um, arrangements for her. And that's what I found out that does a great job. It comes to street sleeper, so I can't say anything for a minute. Just enjoy watching the babies. hog. She is a hog and a half. But, I mean, Lucy's still feeding them. So, I don't know. <sighs> so, I did get a really good deal on the framework for the blueberries. Steve is going to give me the big net. Let me pause this. Okay, this is weird. I guess they have a giant, like a dustpan. When they come up to get all that sand and stuff. <clears throat> this is cool, I've never seen this, I don't think. Or I've never paid attention. Ooh, come clean my kitchen, yes. So the truck follows them and he just raises that up and says, Come on, buddy. <laughs> oh, this 
is pretty cool. So let's see. Hopefully you can see this. <gasps> I have seen it. I haven't seen it empty. That's the sweeper truck. I didn't know that happened. The sleeper truck, the whole front of it comes up. Who knew that? I didn't know that. Oh my goodness. That's just the sleeper truck. And the whole front of it comes up. It's a giant dust can. Who would have known? I am impressed. I am absolutely impressed. Okay, let's go take a look. This is awesome. Who would think an old bat like me would get so excited about a street sweeper? Unbelievable. I've never seen that. And you saw how filthy it was and now you see how clean it is. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. Well, I have a lot of work to do, but that saves me hours. Hours and hours and hours. Because now all the stuff I have to trim, like I did up at the, um, where the, uh, the lilies are. I trim this. Some people tie them. I don't tie them. What I do is just take a handful, whack it off, leave about six inches so that it does get some, like, chlorophyll and stuff. See, now he just pulled in instead of going back around. He pulled in. And he's going to follow them. And when they do the raise up and signal, he'll pull around. That's, I've never seen that. Oh, I am so impressed. I, that made my day. I have to go and oh, fight with the tractor again. Um, the solenoid went bad. And, oh my goodness, the solenoid. I ordered it three weeks ago. Oh, hang on one second.